The NASCAR console gaming side has been a disappointment for a long time, but it's been a complete catastrophe and disaster for the past three or so years with Motorsport Games, who has brought the license down to a brand new low. But if reports are true, it looks like those new lows may be the only lows for Motorsport Games to get it to, because NASCAR may be stripping it of its license with the company. And this comes from the reporting of Gaming Insider journalist Mike Straw, who is going to be honestly breaking this huge news and has been a great source of information throughout this entire process. Before we get to it, just want to remind you we have the NWP 400 duels tomorrow night on IDK Players channel. I'll be announcing in them. They set the field for the Tuesday night show on his channel, so definitely tune in. And let's get this video to a thousand likes. Now into the information here. Mike Straw's quote on a recent live stream was this when regarding the NASCAR gaming license. NASCAR is being set to announce that mo that there will be other NASCAR games in development. Now, I can't confirm. I do not know. I'm hearing some studios, but I can't confirm any of them. No one has said yes or no to the specific studios when asked um, about who will be making NASCAR games. But the NASCAR exclusivity license between nascar and motorsport games is all but dead good riddance finally sort of unofficially motorsport games looks to be gone or at least is not the sole provider of nascar games it won't be official until september 30th based on all accounts but from what it looks like nascar which was rumored months maybe even over a year ago to have tried to get lawyers and lawyer up and get out of this may just be doing it. With Motorsport Games completely dragging the name through the mud, NASCAR has seen its stock of basically the younger demographic continue to dwindle with no gateway into the sport outside of watching it only on Sundays. And at this point now, NASCAR has been pissed off at the garbage state of console gamings for a long time. So this is a long time coming. And I want to assure many that NASCAR was not sitting on its hands for the past three years about this. They were trying to do something and weren't just a bunch of old people who had no understanding of what was going on. They had a complete understanding and were ready to move on, probably honestly, right after Ignition launched. And this is the thing, man. I want NASCAR to just take them all to the cleaners, clean them out in the courts, and get everything that they're worth. Because at this point, those in the front offices and on the board have completely fleece NASCAR out of great opportunities and have produced nothing except the worst gaming launch and possibly the worst game ever made. And at this point too, with the rumors, it looks like NASCAR projects are already in the works with multiple companies to make the games that we may want to play. And honestly, this is amazing. And this is something I've been asking for for a long time. It's in my opinion that exclusivity deals have ruined sports gaming and sports leagues in general, not just NASCAR, but ones like the NFL, the NBA, MLB. They need to get away from these licenses so they can thrive and have the market decide what is the better game and ultimately what is better for the player base. And with this as well, it also is very similar to what NASCAR had in the 2000s between EA and Papyrus, the golden age of NASCAR gaming. In many opinions, the golden age of gaming was caused by this. The competition to make better games and not just half-ass it for a profit was something that honestly pushed gaming to the massive reach that it has now. So what would we want when it comes to a NASCAR game nowadays? Well, there are some basics, and then there's also some things that are in particular we would want. Those things that are more nitpicky we would want. I'll start with those nitpicks. If we're talking about stuff for a NASCAR game, and it's a good NASCAR game, you're going to need different race modes, whether it's race now, or a career or season mode, or whatnot. You're also going to need great online bases for people to play on as well, because 
people need to connect with other fans. It's something that made, honestly, the NASCAR gaming community, even during the heat days, which were not good, but just mediocre, a lot of fun to be around. It was the community aspect instead of the gaming aspect. But when it comes to what we want, honestly, it's just general things. We want competence. We have not seen a competent game made or updated since probably pre-pandemic. And at this point, it is absolutely atrocious. Yes, other people and games have this issue too, but it doesn't mean NASCAR has to go along and do the same damn thing. There needs to be competence in how the game is made, how it's presented, how everything looks, how the presence is in all aspects, social media included, and that is something that will represent the sport greatly moving forward. Just plain competence can put it over half of sports games being put out today. Also care. There needs to be attention to detail. One of the few things I liked about NASCAR 21 was the fact that there was detail in the pre-race or the race now or say like the president's plane taking off at Daytona. That stuff was cool. It was just eye candy, but eye candy can be good when accompanying a great game. And it needs to actually be fun. Yeah, sure, you can have fun playing an awful game or making fun of it or doing whatever the hell you want with it, but... Is it really fun just to run into the AI crashing because they're so brain dead they don't even know how to drive around a track they're meant to be racing you on? No, that's not fun at all. Is it really fun not having an online mode or a competent season mode where honestly you can do whatever you want in it, a career mode? No, none of that is really fun. There needs to be an aspect of fun injected back into NASCAR gaming that honestly hasn't been around since the Eutechnics era, back when those games were goodish, average, better than what we got now. And then there just needs to be a good foundation. This is something I think NASCAR 21 had. Underneath all of the crap sandwiches placed on it and all of the duct tape put on it, all the eye candy, there was a base for a good racing game, but unfortunately, that was overshadowed by glitchiness, bugs, and everything bad in between. This needs to be replicated. It was the one good thing, honestly, they probably did have, and it was one thing that left some poor saps hoping that it would improve, but ultimately it didn't. NASCAR has options, which is better than a lot of other motorsport games properties can say. Look at IndyCar, which looks so far up its own ass because they don't even understand what they're dealing with that they're probably going to just stay with them instead of, say, go with iRacing, which had a great base to begin with. There are options, and for the first time in a long time, there looks to be real hope, not fake hope, but real hope in the NASCAR console gaming community. But with that, I want to pass this on to you. What do you want in the new NASCAR game? Or games at that? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're at it, leave a like on this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for more great NASCAR content. Thank you so much to all my channel members for your continued support. And until next time, have a good one.